She leads the Google Maps team whose services are used by more than one billion people every single day. She's one of the company's first female engineers and a member of its first intern program. Jen co-founded Google's user experience team and continues to focus on delivering meaningful and useful experience to Google users worldwide. During her 15 plus years at Google, Jen has led software development for a wide variety of products and teams, including Google Search, AdWords, Google News, and Google Shopping. She's a mother of three young children and enjoys spending time with her family, traveling, skiing, and cooking. Jen is on the Amita Borg Institute for Women in Technology, um, and helps to, which helps to motivate and inspire women to develop careers in technology. And she holds a, a bachelor's degree in symbolic systems and a master's degree in computer science from Stanford. She's been a wonderful boss. I really enjoy working uh, for her. And um, I think it's really going to be a treat for you to hear her vision uh, for Google Maps. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Right, mic check. Good. Always, always good to start with that. It is a real pleasure and honor to be here uh, talking to all of you. I've been uh, talking with Laura and Jean for many months now uh, in anticipation and kind of leading up to this event. Um, and it's just really exciting to see it all come together. Um, and I have to say, it's great to be here with a local guide because there's probably more cameras that I've had. <laughs> <laughs> I have never given in my whole entire life. You guys are already living up to expectations. It's great. Um, so, uh, so like Laura said, um, I lead our geo group here at Google. Um, and the thing that gets us up every single morning and coming into work is really our goal of bringing information about the real world to those billions of people that Laura talked about. When we think about and when we describe our mission in life, we talk about our goal being to assist people as they're navigating and exploring the real world wherever they are. We want to help people get from here to there with ease and confidence. We want to answer every question you could possibly have about the real world in big cities, in small towns, every corner of the globe. And we want to help you and people all over the world confidently explore and discover new places to go and to help people have more and more great experiences out there in the state wide world. As you well know, we do this primarily through three main product experiences. Google Maps, of course, which hopefully you all already know and love. Local search, which is when anyone comes to Google look for information about local businesses. And a slightly lesser known, but equally important product, Google My Business, which is how we at Google help local storefront businesses around the world come to Google and help express what's unique and special about their businesses to our community of users. As Laura mentioned, each of these products, maps and local search, touch over a billion users around the world. And I'm going to talk a little bit today about how absolutely critical the work that you all are doing as local guides is to helping us bring more and more of that rich information that really matters to those users all around the world. The impact that we are seeing as a local guide has been absolutely staggering and inspiring to see. And I'll share a little bit more of how that's been playing out as we walk through in my, uh, in my talk today. But as I open I just wanted to say a big personal thank you to you all for the impact you've had on our communities, on our products, on the information that we're able to bring to users. It's been really, really incredible. And it's something that uh, really inspires and excites not just me uh, and, our, uh, and our community team here, but really uh, our product designers, our engineers, um, and seeing the faces of the community sort of light up and get so excited to help us in this journey of bringing information about the world to people everywhere, um, it's, really, it's really, really been fun to see. I wanted to start uh, and talk a little bit about uh, where we're headed uh, on this broader journey of maps and local, but before we do that, I got really struck as I was thinking about what I wanted to talk with you all about and I was reading many of your profiles uh, as, uh, as inspiration for me. And I thought it was worth just highlighting to all, uh, to all of you a few of the incredible people that uh, are here in this room today. 
this group today of local five local guides includes, and I'm going to I'm going to put you on the spot and ask you to raise your hand. Uh, we've got uh, Shamrock Doc. Oh, <laughs> West Bengal, India, uh, and he helps update information on local hospitals uh, so that people can get there in the moments that really, really matter in your mm -hmm. life. Uh, we've got uh, Shimi Ong. So Shimi is a world traveler from Singapore. Uh, <laughs> no, from Malaysia. From Malaysia. 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 <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Show so stolen. Uh, so Simi has shared over 400 gigabytes worth of photos. Is that, was that part right? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Holy crap. 400 gigabytes worth of photos with Google Maps um, and became a Level 5 contributor within just three months of joining the Level 5 program. Wow. Uh, we've got Luis Duran. Luis. Luis. Public, and he's an accessibility advocate, helping put information on the map so that people with disabilities can navigate and explore the world just as well as the able-bodied among us. Right. Gianluca Bertoncelli. Gianluca, to meet me. Um, uh, is a self-starter from Italy, um, and he helped form the very first local guides community in Modena. Thank you for that. <laughs> two, two more that I'll highlight. Uh, Felix Uroya Goli. Felix, can you be around somewhere? Yes. <laughs> Felix is a business savvy moderator from Nigeria uh, who helps small and uh, small and medium sized businesses and enterprises and nonprofits boost their online presence and help them succeed and thrive in his local community. So thank you for that. <laughs> So Rosa is a Spanish-speaking San Francisco resident, uh, a little bit closer to home, uh, and she provides listings in Spanish, helping okay. to make her content accessible to people uh, no matter what language they speak. Mm -hmm. uh, that, is, that, is, that is a small sampling. Every single one of you here in this room today have stories that are really inspiring uh, and have really been fun for us to hear and learn about. And I hope that over the course of the next two days, you get a chance really to meet every one of the, uh, of the people in this community and share your stories with each other. Um, it's really striking to me as I read through all the profiles and look at the different ways in which you all are contributing to the work that we do uh, and to giving back this information uh, to, to the world, um, how uniform the sense of clear passion, dedication, and shared uh, community is among this group. But it's also really striking the breadth ways in which you guys are all contributing. You guys are contributors, of course. You're moderators. You're photographers. You are opinion makers and thought leaders. You are, in some cases, detectives and fact finders. <laughs> you, are, um, you are local business advocates. And you are also uh, really, in many cases, community builders and community advocates. Uh, and it's really putting all of these different skills together in this community that is the community of local guides that really is where the true power comes from. The other thing that's really striking is that this program, this local guides program, uh, in its current form, is less than a year old. And this is really just <coughs> the beginning. And so as much fun as it's been to see the program evolve thus far, I'm even more excited to see what we can create together uh, as this moves forward. One of the reasons that I particularly love working on this space of geoproduct is that it gives us the opportunity every day to really help people in the moments that matter in their life. Whether it's small things like trying to decide what museum to take your parents to when they're visiting you uh, in town, or really important moments in life, like helping you get to uh, an emergency clinic uh, in a moment when you, really, when you or your family really really need it. Um, it's a huge responsibility. Uh, it's one that my team and I take very seriously. Uh, but it's also incredibly fun and incredibly inspiring to have the opportunity to bring more and more of those to people in this room. And the thing that strikes us all the time is we see every day the questions that our users are bringing us about the real world getting harder and harder, getting more and more detailed. And it turns out 
that humans have an almost insatiable appetite to know more about the world around them. And as we at, at Google get better and better at helping people answer those questions, they bring more of them to us. And this shift has happened even more dramatically in today's world, where over a billion people are carrying around smartphones in their pocket that they can ask questions to in real time as they're traveling about the world, trying to make decisions, trying to get to new places, trying to get things done. And one of the things that we see is that for as many questions about the world as we're able to answer today, there's just as many more questions still out there that we don't know the answers to. Here's a, uh, a, a, great, a great proof point. Take, take a look at the Local Guide to Connect discussion forum. You see questions there cropping up all the time that Google today still can't answer. Things like, hey, I'm going to Crete next week, and I need to know the best way to get from uh, Agia Pelagia to Crete. Should I go by boat? Should I go by land? And by the way, what boat companies are the best ones to take? This is not the sort of question that Google uh, does a, a brilliant job at today. But we'd like to be. Or things like, what are the cafes in Mumbai that I can go to that have both a good view and good Wi-Fi? Or even, what's a tourist-friendly nightclub in Vienna that plays Senegalese music? <laughs> now, I didn't know <laughs> until I saw it in the, in the local guys connect forum that Senegalese music in Vienna was a thing. But apparently it is. <laughs> uh, and it's only by tapping into the knowledge of the locals, locals like you who care deeply about their communities and their neighborhoods and understand what's happening, what's important, what's important, what's interesting and relevant to the people who are there right now, that we're able to bring those sorts of knowledge and insights to uh, our users uh, who, as I said, are asking us more and more the questions about the world around them. Today, our local guides program has over five million users contributing to it. Mm -hmm. And again, we knew that for less than a year uh, in its current form. You all hail from 235 countries and 180,000 different localities. So the scale and size of this program is really, really, uh, is really, really fun to see and is really giving us uh, a lot of those answers that we are going to be able, through local guides, to literally cover every corner of the world. You, as the Local Guides community, have been some of our biggest advocates, our biggest supporters. Um, you are literally our most trusted creators. Uh, and you're having an incredibly outsized impact on our products. Um, the uh, one small fact that I wanted to share with you guys today that I'm happy you're able to share is that as of today, the Local Guide community is now contributing almost half of the user-generated content coming in from our Senate. That's huge. So, yeah. You guys are quite literally our eyes and ears on the ground, helping us understand whether it's uh, the opening hours for a gym uh, or a uh, new shop that just opened in South Jakarta or a review that helps someone decide where to go uh, with their friend or their family uh, for lunch the next day. These and a million more everyday scenarios that are playing out rely on the sorts of information and insights that you guys are bringing, not really to us, but to our users uh, and, uh, and to the world. It makes a huge difference. Let me tell you one story uh, of uh, a fellow local guide, uh, and the story of someone named Billy, uh, who came from Spain. So this is one of my favorite local guide stories. Uh, so Billy heard that his local government was planning to tear down and build over a park in his community. And the reason given by the government was that this park was rarely used. Now Billy, who lived in this community, knew that this was not true. So he went to Google Maps and he submitted the first ever review of this park. And then he went out to his friends and other folks in the community and encouraged them to do the same. Fast forward a few weeks and suddenly there's dozens of reviews, dozens of photos proving that this park had life, that it was populated, that people in the community cared about it. And Billy went and showed this to the government, and they changed their plans. The park has stayed in existence. Um, and if that's not a true testament to the power of community to really influence how the local world and your local neighborhood can evolve, I don't know what is. Now, 
not every neighborhood or every community has a park that's in imminent danger of being torn down. <laughs> but every community has its own stories, its own things that matter. And I think that's one of the really uh, special things and one of the things that really speaks to the true potential and impact of the Soho Guides community is, is, is the ability to use information <coughs> to help people make decisions that really matter. You know, it wasn't that long ago that the typical user coming to Google to look up information about a place would see an experience that looks something like this. No reviews, maybe if we were lucky a street view car might have driven by years ago, but it was a second view of the place with a truck parked in front of it. Not exactly helpful in terms of helping you make a quick on the fly decision about whether this is a place that you personally want to go and spend your time. Fast forward to today, many, many more places on Google thanks to the work of the local guides community and our blog and news community, now look much more like this. Rich reviews, lots of photos, rich information about the types of experience you're likely to have at this place, 